Hey friends, welcome back to Spray Tell. Today I've got my top five rainy day fragrances and uh, it's kind of interesting because it's quite subjective what a rainy day fragrance is. So these are days when it's humid, it's possibly hot because now it's the summer. I think this is more of a list for the hot summer rain because in the UK it's kind of been raining a lot recently even though it's summer and what would you want to wear in that kind of climate? So yeah, it's not too hot, but it's kind of rainy and it's kind of humid. So I think my personal opinion is like a lot of earthy or grassy fragrances are good in this kind of weather where they remind you of the outdoors. So like the grassiness gives you like a green vibe, you know, the outdoor, the earthy part is like moss, vetiver, patchouli and grass, that kind of thing. And um, also refreshing and light fragrances do well in, in rain. So you've got citrusy flip fragrances, floral, aquatics. But let's go ahead, let's just jump right in. Let's start with Paco Rabanne XS, which is a classic. So this one is a green fragrance. If you've ever smelt Chanel's Platinum Egoist, this is kind of quite similar. It's in that ballpark of a green sort of slightly metallic fragrance. And this people say is like very similar. And I love the bottle, it's like, this, I think there's a new bottle which is smaller, but the older style has this kind of bottle with it's kind of like a Zippo lighter sort of effect where you kind of open it and you can spray it like that. But yeah, so like people say this is quite similar to a niche fragrance called Creed Himalaya. And this actually came before that. So I think Creed might have actually copied the Paco Rabanne XS. It's a very fresh, clean, mature scent, but also classy, quite classy. So you could dress this up and it's really fresh. It's really good for this kind of spring sort of summery, the coolest summer days. And on a rainy day, this would be amazing. That is so fresh. It's so green. The opening has like a lot of citrusy elements to it. So you've got bergamot, mandarin, orange, lemon, mint, and rosemary. And it's just really well blended. And it's really cheap, by the way. Like this was like, I don't know, under 30 pounds. So really cheap for a fragrance for 100 ml. The mid has sage, coriander, juniper, and the base has patchouli, cedar, vanilla, musk, and oak moss. And it's really nice with the dry down as well because it kind of lasts quite long, but, or relatively long, maybe like five or six hours, but you know, the patchouli is nice in there. You got the vanilla, which adds warmth and the musk which really gives you a comforting vibe in the rain. So you kind of get this sort of fresh freshness to it and you really want to smell that on a rainy day. I don't know about you guys, but I do want to smell fresh and green and earthy and natural. It's to kind of complement a rainy, humid day. So yeah, it's slightly fruity. The opening's a bit sharp, quite masculine. Yeah, so this reminds me of, if you imagine a mountain and it's cold and it's icy and there's like green grass on there and you're just sitting there meditating or something, like you're in, I don't know, Tibet or somewhere. That's the vibe I get with this fragrance. Like it's really nice for that kind of fresh feel. So yeah, that's the first one. That's my number one. I really like this. Check it out guys. Number two, this one's, you probably wouldn't have picked this. I've got the dry down on this actually, and it's still there after like a couple of days. Yeah, it's really good. So this is Boss Bottled Triumph Elixir. So I've got a, uh, mine came without a lid because I got this second hand, but this one, I don't even know if I should spray it because this is gonna, Okay, let's just do it. It's not too overpowering. I mean, I'm going a bit crazy, but like it is, it does last a long time because it's still, the dry down is there after several days. And this is a beautiful fragrance. So the, the top has violet leaf, mid has vetiver, and the base has patchouli. So I don't really get much of the violet, but the vetiver and patchouli is blended beautifully. And I'm sure there are other notes in this that aren't listed. You get a slight sweetness and it's, it is, it isn't like too heavy for like, rainy humid days so when it rains and it's slightly you got, get like a cooler breeze in the summer sometimes when it rains this would be beautiful in on those days where the rain's slightly cold the temperatures go down to like 20 degrees or below it's very earthy because of the vetiver and patchouli and green also and if you like patchouli you will love this fragrance you have to get this fragrance if you like patchouli boss bottled triumph elixir not it's not just the elixir it's the triumph elixir it's a patchouli heavy fragrance like i said really long lasting and it gave me a sense of comfort in the rain when i wore it and a warmth 
it is it has that kind of warmth the earthiness provides a warmth with this fragrance but it felt great due to the patchouli and the green vibe and the earthiness and like i said a little sweet which comes from this resinous note in in there and i really like that so you have to check this out guys boss bottle triumph elixir is one of the best from boss and one of the best in the boss bottle line recently so that's that one now the third one number three is another one that you probably wouldn't pick but it's this one so it's called Jaipur Om EDP by Boucheron and this one so the EDT came out ages ago I think the EDP is more of a recent release which is slightly creamier but this is a an old school barbershop style fragrance but it's timeless and it's, it's citrus heavy warm but spicy and let me give this a spray so this one I love it in the rain because well let me just go through the notes so the the top has lemon and verbena so you got that fresh vibe at the top but the mid is quite spicy so you got the cinnamon and nutmeg in the mid and the base has vanilla woods and woods so a woody but warm kind of sweet base vanilla Base. and yeah I loved it in the rain it just gave me a really comforting vibe because I think before I wore this in like on a hot day and it was maybe a bit too much creaminess on that hot day but when it rains it kind of cools down just enough and you get the freshness with the top on this with all that citrus but you also get like a lot of a cardamom vibe but like something warm that kind of if you're a bit cold when it's raining outside you're indoors you want that kind of vibe and it gives me a masala chai sort of vibe. I don't know if you guys have had masala chai, but I love that. I'm not, I'm currently avoiding it, but for health reasons. But yeah, this gives you that sort of comforting vibe of having that masala chai at home. And it's very strong, it's long lasting, it's mature, but anybody can pull it off, I think. Even women could pull this off. Actually, women could pull any of these off. And it's great value for money. This was super cheap, probably like, 25 pounds 20 pounds and you could try the edt for this it's a lighter version and a more citrusy version of that so check that out also but this one is definitely one i would recommend for a rainy day next one is maybe some people would have guessed this one but it's by the house of versace and it's versace the dreamer and i really like this bottle it's so old school this has a top, it has got a lot of notes in it actually. Let me skip the notes, but the main thing is the, it's got like a white, a white flower sort of blossom vibe. And it's got tobacco blossom in the base. So it's got a lot of white florals and, and tobacco or tobacco leaf or tobacco blossom or something. So it's got that kind of vibe, but it's not like too tobacco-y, but it is, the tobacco is there and it's quite strong. So I've got the dry down and I can still smell it, but it reminds me of my granddad. So my granddad used to smoke and I think he may have also worn this, but it just gives me that old school vibe, but it's not a bad thing. It's not in a bad way. Let's put this here. Yeah, the opening is it's pretty fresh. It's got like white florals and it's slightly sweet. It's magical, it's dreamy, hence the name Dreamer. And it really takes you back to that time or a memory of the 90s or even before. And the dry down becomes quite tobacco-y, ambery, which not everybody would like or appreciate, but I really, well, I didn't used to like it for a while when I, in my head it became tobacco, but if you just ignore that fact, it's like a lot of people would like this, but there are people who don't not like that note. So just to let you know, maybe try this first before you buy it. And it's blended really well. It's so unique. This fragrance, I haven't smelt anything like this, to be honest. There must be something that's similar, but I haven't smelt it. So I think it's super unique and it's comforting on a rainy day. So you want to smell a bit powdery. You want to smell a bit warm. You want the ambery feel, which this has. You want the white florals to kind of keep you interested. And it's confusing as it's light, but warm and flowery and resinous at the same time. So you got like a lot of different combinations and yeah, I love the bottle. So that's my number four. And last but not least, I need another strip. Last but not least is this one. So this is Aqua Di Gio by Giorgio Armani and it's the Parfum. So I really love this fragrance. Like I kind of fell in love with it. This is the 2023 version, by the way. There's like a lot of different versions out there. 
but this one's great. I really love this. So you've got marine notes at the top with bergamot and rosemary, sage, and geranium in the mid. So a bit of aromatic vibe in the mid. And then olibanum and patchouli to give it that sort of sweet aromatic feeling in the base and slightly it's not an earthy patchouli this one it's more of a sweet patchouli it's usually considered as summer fragrance but the fresh marine notes are amazing in the rain for this one the fragrance is heavy on the rosemary and the aromatic vibe but that kind of gives me a real warmth in rainy conditions so like if you were gonna just wear the aqua di Gio, the original I don't think that would be too great in the rain maybe I'm wrong let me know guys like if you've ever tried that but this one it's got that kind of the rosemary and everything the herbiness of it gives you um, a real comforting vibe in the rain and I think it stands out in the rain and it, this is quite long-lasting also and this is quite strong also like out of all of these I think strength wise this is the strongest then between this one and this one I think maybe the Japer is slightly stronger and then actually hang on this first then the dreamer but it's that strong but not kind of deep and then this one maybe and then these two I would put on the same level this one is the least strong but it's still decent it's not a bad one it's just more of a fresh fragrance but uh, <laughs> I really like this and the base of patchouli and olive anum give it a lovely sweet ambery and woodiness that's really comforting, like I was saying, and it's just a mix of fresh, spicy, and warm spicy, which really makes this shine in humid conditions and rainy conditions. Like if it's humid, I'm gonna go for this frosted bottle, which kind of looks cold, to be honest. To kind of cool me, keep me fresh, I know I'm gonna smell good with this one. And I know it's gonna last a long time. So that's my five current rainy day fragrances. I hope you liked the video. Please like and subscribe, it really helps me. I'm just starting this channel and yeah, I really appreciate any likes, subscribes and comments. So I'll try to get back to you. I'll see you in the next one and please stay tuned for the next review.